Hispanic Heritage Month comes to an end, there is one final event that is showcasing top Latinx designers and bringing some exquisite fashion to the city. Runway Latinx is a three-day event kicking off this Friday, and here to tell us more about what we can expect, our founder, Arabelle Alva Rosales, and designer, Adolfo Sanchez. Thank you guys for coming in. One hour off the plane, you look great. Yes, yes, <laughs> one hour off the plane, but I'm super excited, super excited to be here for, in Chicago mm -hmm. from Los Angeles. We're so happy to have him and some of the other designers that have come in. So Runway Latinx, we are really trying to focus on raising funds for Pivoting in Heels. Mm -hmm. It's a non-for-profit to empower women, and it's also the closing event for Hispanic Heritage Month. So we have three days, starts off with Friday. Uh, we have a designer uh, chef who's designing a chocolate dress. Ooh. Uh, being worn by Marissa Boucher, former Miss Illinois, is going to sing opera. And then Saturday, we've got Adolfo and a couple of other designers, Andrea um, Salazar, who's from Miami, and then Delvin McRae, who mm -hmm. you know who's from oh, Chicago. Yeah. Yep. Uh, he's also going to be showing. And then we've got a very special surprise, a lot of chefs, a lot to drink, and then Sunday's Women's Empowerment Day. That is amazing. So we've yes. got some really like great a fun film yeah. weekend. So we're pretty excited about it. Adolfo, tell us a little bit about what is, what's really in style right now? What are you seeing more and more? In LA overall. Uh, let's say the Latinx designer community. Yeah, I mean, I feel like in my world, yeah. you know, there's always uh, lots of hand beating and lots of beautiful details that go into the dress. And I think also like just being Latin, mm -hmm. there's always like that hourglass yes. shape, yes. the bodycon. You know, we yes. love to highlight the curves and everything that comes with, you know, everything that you, that is part of Latin culture, you know? Yeah. So mm -hmm. I think there's always that aspect that will always be a part of it. And a lot of these designs you wouldn't necessarily see on a, I don't know, a mainstream runway. These are more fun, yeah. more more cultural, more I think accessible. If you ask me, do you agree? Am you know I... what? I think a little bit of both. So um, you you may see them on some, but we it's got a little oomph to yes. it, which I love. Yeah, right? Me too. Uh, some of the designers that we're going to show today and, and during our event, they put that little extra pizzazz. They do highlight the body a little bit more because we love our curves oh, um, yeah. as Latinas, and so I just think it's a fabulous opportunity for people to get to wear something that gives them a little bit more jazz. All right, well, let's yeah, let's that start first model. Because we're talking about showing the curves alone. This is perfect, because I love when you can just see a little. Yeah, yes. like so this right? is a designer, Andrea Salazar, and I'm actually wearing her jacket as well, and she's from Miami, and um, so it's just a fabulous, uh, comfortable look. The jacket, you, you know, you could wear here during the winter. Mm. You're gonna fly out in the summer, you've got the skirt, and she's got a lot of leather and a lot of black and white in her design, so she's really fabulous look. It's feminine, yet a little, like, rugged. It's really, it's it's Exactly. Cool. We love it. A little bit edgy. Yeah. And then the next design um, is uh, Delvin McRae, you know, yeah. our local designer. He dresses a lot of celebrities uh, across the country. Uh, and so we've uh, found out, you know, Delvin McRae is also Mexican. Oh, okay. He's got Mexicans. He's got a little Latin in him. This is a great, again, shows the curves, cinches the waist. Yeah. And it's just a fabulous look. You could wear it with or without the undershirt on I it. was sitting there looking at that. Is that a, a separate piece? It's a separate piece which makes it really fabulous. You can wear it a couple of different ways. Yeah. yeah. Which is really great. That yeah. is wonderful. And those and heels. I love those heels. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Those yeah. heels. Those are sexy. Thank oh, you, she Ruth. looks fabulous. All right. And then? And then our third one. Oh. Last but not least. Is this yours? This is mine. Oh, oh nice. my babies. Your babies. Lots of bee work, hand work, and I'm from LA, so the infamous sexy high slip. Yes. You know, mm -hmm. showing some leg, but still like keeping it classy and chic. Yeah. There's a finishing uh, bow detail at the top of the slit. There's three layers there's the lace, the tool, and then the top is all the hand work. I feel like I can see this on somebody's red carpet yeah, today, for sure. right now. Yeah. Why haven't we? Yeah. You will. <laughs> <laughs> and you've you know, dressed some celebrities. Yeah, we've dressed too, a lot of right? celebrities. Yeah. We do a lot of red carpet. And I do, um, uh, I guess what you would say, like we said, designs with more oomph. Yeah. You yeah. Know? yeah. Like, I definitely do like more fashion oomph. forward. And yeah, we, we've done carpets. I'll send you some pictures. I love yeah. it. Yeah, because the, the oomph is like the appropriate amount of oomph. Like yes. it gives it that sex appeal without being in your face. Exactly. Just really the right pretty. amount. Yeah. And all of these designers have actually dressed celebrities. So that's what's, you know, so great about it. We're going to, we're bringing it to Chicago. Some of them are already here, but it's an opportunity for them to be known, you know, all over the place. And we have a lot of people flying in for this show. Oh, ah. that, and this is like the 13th year that yeah. you have put on, or more, uh, no, it's over 13 years that yes. you've done these runway yes, shows. Yes, it's actually 14th. Mm -hmm. I was only like five when I started. Yeah. <laughs> no, 
uh, so we love it. You know, we also have incredible chefs, incredible mixology. Uh, the panel that we have on Sunday for women empowerment is fantastic. It's about self-esteem. Mm -hmm. We really want to put a focus on that. It's called the best primer is a positive self-esteem. Mm -hmm. So we're we're doing it for the city. You know, we love mm -hmm. showing off our city. Uh, we love you know sharing our Latino culture yeah. with everyone. And so we hope everybody joins us. You can buy tickets online and or else you can donate to Pivoting in Heels, which we'd love for you to do as well. Well, and I feel like Latino women, especially too, you look at these models, they carry more self-esteem, I think, than a, than a lot of other cultures because they're able to pull off these designs and a lot more people could, but they got to get the guts yeah. to do it. <laughs> yeah, and you know, for us, I think in general, in women, self-esteem is a very important issue. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's the best primer, right? Yeah. It makes everything else look beautiful. We got to start there, and then we just enhance it with beautiful clothes, beautiful makeup, and just being happy. Yeah, it helps women wear the clothes, not that the clothes wear the women, right? That's, That's right. That's the exactly way it's right. supposed to be. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, thank you both for coming this in. This is fantastic. Yeah. I'm yeah. looking forward to seeing this uh, this fashion show. And get some sleep. I know. Yes. <laughs> maybe. 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 Right. She's here now. Yeah. You know, so you never know.